What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. It's 9.18 p.m. right now and it's because I just finished finished my work. I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. Um, and I just ate food, so now I'm recording my video. For breakfast, I had... For brunch, I had some pizza, um, some leftover pizza. I had it cold. I typically have pizza hot um, because I feel like, you know, when you have hot leftover pizza, you're having more of an authentic pizza experience. Um, However, you know, my dad was talking about how much he liked cold pizza because it came up in conversation and I was thinking, man, you know, maybe, maybe cold pizza is authentic. Maybe it is a, like a thing, like, like maybe it makes sense to eat leftover, you know? Um, and I tried it and I didn't like it as much as hot leftover pizza, but you know, it was still good. Um, the really interesting thing, I, I don't know, I think, I think the aversion from cold leftover pizza, well, I... I think the reason why I, I think the, the root of the problem is that I draw a distinction between, I feel like when you're having leftovers, the most important thing you can do is try to like capture the essence of what the food was like when it was new. So when I have cold pizza, it's like I'm voluntarily uh, having a less authentic experience because um, I'm not heating the pizza up and the pizza was hot when I got it so why wouldn't I eat hot pizza left over because that's more similar to when it was new you know so why wouldn't I want to you know maximize how uh, new it feels you know uh, and you know I feel like from maybe my dad's perspective he sees cold pizza as its own experience on its own like like you order hot pizza and then later you have cold pizza. You, but for me, it's like I have hot pizza and then the hot pizza becomes cold and I try to recapture the energy of the pizza by like making it hot again, you know? Um, so for him, it's like two different things, but for me, it's just one thing and then it gets worse and then I have to make it better to eat it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning. That's not true. I woke up at... 8 a.m. Yeah, I woke up at 8 a.m. I had my alarm for, set for 7.30, um, but um, I woke up at 8. I walked 5.5 miles on the treadmill, I think. Yeah, and I burned um, um, 607 calories. It was from 9.50 to, to 11.30. Well, from 9.50 to 11.22, really. Um, and then I got in the shower, then I um, ate some cold pizza with a banana, and um, then I started working on my work a little bit. Um, then I did some, what? Then I uh, uh, emptied the dishwasher, and then I got the apples in the backyard, which are some chores I had to do, and then I did some more schoolwork. Um, I feel like I'm not as, I wasn't as productive today as I could have been. Um, I don't really know where a lot of the time went today, uh, but, you know, aside that, I did end up getting all of my work done, except for this one thing. Um, let me show you, see if I can show you guys this. Yeah, I can. So, um, this is my, hold on. Uh, so this is an assignment I have to work on where it gives me the, yeah, that's fine. Where it gives me the, the, where your input is like the day of the month or, or like the name of the month and then the day of the month. And then it has to output what season it is. Um, and this is, uh, quite embarrassing because I think this is bad code. Can I full screen this? This is quite embarrassing because I think this is bad code, like just so many nested if statements, but you know, this is what I've, I've tried. I kind of did like for March, April, May, and June. So for like spring it works, um, but you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. And I know this is like a, I, I, I'm fairly confident this is like kind of a common coding challenge and I could just look up the answer. So I really don't want to do that. Um, I don't know. I was really tired when I made this uh, before I ate food because I hadn't eaten food since breakfast that morning. Um, and so I wasn't, 
sure, like, I did what seemed like the easiest thing to do short term, and obviously that's kind of screwed me over because I, I am gonna have to do this exact same thing for uh, summer and autumn and winter, and it, this is a very hard thing to keep track of, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I could probably do something with like a with like a dictionary or something. I don't really know. Um, or like, yeah, I don't know, maybe a dictionary, because maybe, um, uh, maybe a dictionary could have a key, a key value pair for every month. And then the value for the key of the month could be like the range of days that the that the month is. So it's like from from this time to this time. Ah, uh, no, but then there would have to no because the seasons change in the middle of the month. So I actually have no idea. Ah, uh, can I like? Okay, I can have multiple files. Maybe that would help. I, I, I could have different files depending on um, what I'm doing. That, that would probably make sense. I could have multiple scripts. That, that would probably be helpful. Because right now, this is just sort of, I can't do this all in one line. It, 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 it bothers me. Um, it just needs to look cleaner and it's terrible. It's bad. But uh, here is something cool that I worked on. Um, I'm gonna have to turn on my desktop audio for this, uh, and it might sound really weird, so I'm actually gonna turn the audio down a little bit. There we go. So, um, I did this, I made this script on my computer where when I hold down Windows and B. Oh, you guys aren't getting that. That's very weird. Uh, you may be hearing that, but that's not, um,. Why can't you guys see, hear that output? Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Um, so I made a script on my computer where whenever I do Windows B, it uh, starts making this sort of consistent tone. Uh, when you look it up, it's called brown noise, which is basically white noise, but without a lot of the higher frequencies. It kind of sounds like you're in an airplane. And I'm pretty happy with how I, I got it to work out. So, um, and I just kind of did it on a whim while I was in the middle of my things. But um, uh, so, um, I'm gonna open this in Codium. So then, uh, there's syntax highlighting, and I could just get that set up in Neo then, but I, I hadn't. Um, but yeah, so it creates a variable called MPV check and it does PSEF and it searches for um, the MPV instance uh, to see if it's already running. Uh, it aux columns eight and nine to get the, um, the name of the process and also the location of where the process is being ran. Uh, and then it does head dash n dash one uh, because um, if I just did this, it would also print out the grep of itself. So it would print out this and then grep. Um, and so I do head n1 just to show the actual real process. Um, and so then I'm like, if um, this this thing exists, uh, like if it's already running brown noise, then um, kill, um, and then it, inside of this is a command that gets the, um, the process ID of the MPV, um, of MPV, um, and then it, it, it prints it out with awk, you know? Um, and it, and it kills it. Um, and then I have Dunstify run this uh, little notification that shows up here very briefly. Brown noise started. Um, and then else, which is basically like if it's not already running, it um, starts it. So, and it says brown noise started. So now if I go like this, it starts like a brown noise thing. Um, and now when I press this, it stops. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that. It's very basic, but um, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, and the reason why I did that, the reason why I'm even interested in that sort of frequency or sound is because, um, our, 
walls are thin. They're like American walls, you know? So um, if my parents are listening or watching something in the living room, I can hear everything from their show. I can hear everything they're talking about. Um, that's why in a lot of my videos, you know, you hear background noise. I'm like, I'm sorry, that was my parents' show. It's because the walls are super thin. Um, and so uh, something I do is when my parents are home and I have to focus on schoolwork and, you know, my parents are very distracting, no offense, but, uh, you know, I'm always very interested in what they're talking about. Um, and it's usually just about the news or something, but, you know, it, it's just distracting. It's distracting to hear other people talking while you're trying to work. Um, so I, I put in my AirPods and I connect them to my computer and um, I usually run brown noise in the background. Uh, but the thing is, is in the past, to do brown noise, I've had to like open YouTube uh, and that's kind of freaky. Um, I trust myself and I feel like I have enough self-control to like not be sort of sucked into YouTube, um, but I don't even want to have the possibility of that happening. So um, this morning, actually, I uh, used this command called Sox, S-O-X, and it's this sort of audio manipulation like uh, command line tool um, and I just made it uh, do a six hour a six hour sort of brown noise thing and it's like a flat file it's like 700 megabytes or something which is a little silly um, but uh, um, yeah so it uh, so I did that so then I don't even have to go on YouTube, but it was bothering me having to open up my file manager and then opening uh, the audio file up in MPB. And I was like, well, I could just do this. And uh, now it's very nice and, and fancy. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else is really going on. Um, and yeah, see you do.